Hey guys, what's up? It's iDevice Forever here, and in this video, I'm here to show you guys how to fix the Wi-Fi issues on your iPhone, iPod, or iPad uh, once you've updated to iOS 8.4.1, or rather, shall I just say iOS 8, because uh, we've been all facing problems with our Wi-Fi uh, connectivity after updating to iOS 8. So I'm actually running iOS 8.4.1 right now, but it's just that I have uh, the wallpaper of iOS 9. Anyway, let's jump right in. So I'm going to start with the most basic step, uh, and most of us might have already, uh, uh, you know, tried to uh, do the step. Anyway, we'll just start right away. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go ahead uh, to your Wi-Fi co connection right here. I'm connected to this one right here, and you just want to go ahead. And uh, the first thing you want to do is forget, uh, forget this network. Uh, it usually helps. So if you just forget your network and put in your password again, it'll probably help. Anyway, that, that was the most basic step and probably uh, everyone might have already done that. So the second thing that you want to do in case that one doesn't work, you, what you want to do is go ahead to general and then go all the way down to reset. And go ahead to reset network settings. So this is going to uh, reset all the uh, network settings for you. and. Uh, so you might want to note all the uh, Wi-Fi passwords uh, that you want because it's going to erase all the data of uh, the network uh, connectivity that you have. So you probably want to note it down. So once you've done all that, you just want to go ahead and uh, uh, tap on Reset Network Settings. They're going to ask you for your passcode. And if you don't have a passcode, uh, you can just they'll start uh, you know resetting your network settings. Your phone is going to boot up. And once you're done with that, uh, it should, uh, the Wi-Fi should start working. So those were the two steps to start off with and now if it still doesn't work what you're going to do is go ahead turn off your router or your modem for at least 10 to 20 seconds and then switch it back on and then see if, you're, see if the uh, uh, Wi-Fi is working on your phone then. And if it still doesn't work what you're going to do is uh, force restart your phone that is uh, you want to hit on the power button and the uh, home button together for at least 10 seconds and then you, so you, your phone's gonna uh, switch off and then uh, turn back on so it's gonna reason you know probably just if you, it, it probably helps you in, you know when your phone's uh, hung or, uh, you know hung up or something like that so it's probably gonna help you because once uh, when I uh, updated to iOS 8.4.1 and I had the Wi-Fi issues this was what helped me I forced restart my phone and then the Wi-Fi started working so this is this must work for you guys and if it still doesn't I still have a few more steps for you guys um, uh, you, you can go ahead to uh, your uh, Wi-Fi again I go ahead to uh, and then you wanna just go ahead uh, make sure that the HTTP proxy is on auto and go ahead to DNS sorry and just take it all back and put it on 8.8.8.8 right so you just have the four eights out there so you just want to make sure that you have that on and then probably uh, you know it's going to reconnect and then try it again your, your Wi-Fi may work this actually helps for a lot of people as well okay and if still your Wi-Fi doesn't work I have one more step for you guys if it doesn't work um, you want to go ahead to settings uh, that I'm already in right now go to privacy and then go to uh, location services right here so, oh God. location services okay and then you want to go all the way down to system services all right and then you, know, you want to go ahead uh, you can see it right here Wi-Fi networking you want to turn that off oh, god damn Wi-Fi networking. You just want to switch it on, uh, switch it off. Sorry, and then you want to boot uh, your phone. Uh, you want to switch it off, and then turn it back on again. So it should probably work. If it doesn't work again, uh, then uh, your phone. Uh, you have to take one of the most irritating steps. That is to connect uh, your uh, uh, phone, your iPhone, or your iPod, or your iPad to your uh, PC, and then restore it. So you want to connect it to, uh, to uh, via your uh, lightning uh, lightning connector, and then you want to uh, restore it. So, but just make sure you got uh, you back up everything, and uh, once you're done backing up everything, you just want to restore it. And if it still doesn't work, that's probably going to work. And if it still doesn't work, uh, you want to make sure that uh, 
you update, uh, you know, you wait for the next update to come out, and that's probably going to fix the issue. And um, so you got to just wait for the uh, latest update to come out. And if it's, uh, that is probably going to work. Uh, and if you don't have the patience to wait for the next update, and if you have something urgent to do with your phone, so you're just going to downgrade uh, your phone to the uh, older version. So that is, these steps are kind of irritating. So that's exactly why the, the older steps should kind of work. So anyway, so if, uh, obviously it's going to definitely work when you uh, downgrade your phone uh, to the older version or you update it to the newest version, it's obviously going to work. And uh, if you if you don't want to downgrade your phone or you don't know how to downgrade your phone, all you got to do is just go ahead to the Apple Store and ask someone to fix it for you. And that's it guys. I ho Hopefully this video helps you guys out and all the steps I just told you, I hope it helps. And if it does, make sure you give me a thumbs up and also hit that like button and subscribe for more. And if you have any uh, more issues with your phone or if, you have, uh, if your issues aren't uh, solved, you can just make sure you comment, uh, comment down and then I'll, I'll make sure to check it out. Right, so th thanks for watching guys. Peace.